to to go from one city to the next and then play a game. Um, can't thank the Giants organization enough. Um, Coach Judge, T Mac, Wayne for for helping me um, get to the spot. Um, can't thank the Carolina Panthers enough. Uh, Give me a chance. So last 24 hours have been uh, it's a whirlwind, um, but a blessing. Uh, incredible birthday present yesterday. So I'm um, just excited to be here, trying to learn my teammates' names uh, and just get better, better every single day. Did you dance and mention that he um, called Brenda Mills and asked him about you? He had nothing but nice things to say. Can you talk a little bit about the relationship that you and Graham were able to foster in training camp? Yeah, Graham is like an older brother to me now. Uh, he is just one of the most incredible and genuine people that I've ever met. Um, he taught me everything that he could uh, in a short amount of time. Just hanging out with him uh, every single night, watching movies or whatever. Um, so, super thankful for Graham uh, and investing his time and effort into me because uh, he wants the best for me. So, uh, if I can give him a hug right now, I would. Did you choose his number here that he wore here? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Uh, it was a pretty funny joke when uh, I found out, and then I was able to tell him. So I was like, I was like, I'm going to try and do my best Graham Gano impersonation tonight. So, <laughs> it, was, it was an honor. Did he tell you anything when you found out you were coming down here? Any, anything about the team or anything like that? Oh, he, he helped me so much. He just gave me a ton of information. I mean, it was really cool walking off the practice field yesterday, and he was one of the first guys there to give me a big old hug. Just the biggest happy smile on his face to to see me go into a place like this that he knows is really, really good, um, and they care about uh, the players. So, Graham, Graham's amazing. How oh, it's a preseason game, I understand, but given the circumstances, were there nerves for you? I mean, if you're not nervous, you don't really care. Um, so, of course, you're a little bit, but you're just trying to get better every single kick, every single time you go out on the field. And, you know, I'm trying to learn my teammates' names right now. Um, and I'm just trying to do my job to the best of the ability that I have. Uh, I've been blessed with an uh, amazing and strong leg for some weird reason, but I'm going to use it and glorify God in the way that uh, he wants me to. Um, so, you know, taking it one step at a time, taking it one day at a time. You mentioned the whirlwind. I, I thought I heard Matt Rule say you needed to go get cleats when you got here. Is that accurate or no? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I have a good one with cleats in my bag. I was like, all right, I need to get some Panther color cleats. So, yeah. Did that involve this company here to get, or did you need to have a special shoe you need? No, they, they had some. Ryan, uh, that 52 yarder, describe your emotions as you saw it hit the right up right in Benson. Yeah, it was a great operation by everyone. Um, super thankful for the line, JJ, Joe. Uh, it was just a great operation. So uh, I did the best of my ability um, and I'm very fortunate that it got a good kick into the, uh, the upright. So um, obviously, going to get better. Um, we'll watch the film, we'll get back to the practice field. We'll things up. JJ said something to the effect of you got to take weeks and months of uh, chemistry and condense it down into 24 hours. How difficult was that trying to get a new holder, a new snapper, and everything with, with everything that was on the line uh, tonight? Yeah, well, it's helpful for me to have confidence in the guys when I knew they had it all last season together as well. Um, you know, I trust them. Uh, I met them last night for the first time, and I was like, hey, I'm, I'm going to trust you no matter what. So just give me a chance, and uh, I'll do the best that I can. How quickly were you down here? Um, I think I walked off the practice field at like 1, got a flight at 4.30, got in at like 8, and then just ran with it. Plus the 24 hours. Yeah, I ran with it. Yeah, it, it's been amazing. Uh, thankful that my wife's here with me. Um, she's been incredible uh, the whole process. So were you still at the Giants facility when you got the call about the train coming off, you said coming off the practice field? Right, so we were doing joint practices in New England. Um, so I was walking off to the Patriots practice field and then had to fly out from Boston. And you got here, uh, you said about 8 o'clock. Did you come to the facility or what did you do at 8? Yeah, just procedural things uh, as soon as I got in. Yeah. So physical, getting fit for everything. Yeah, I take it you stay in a hotel or yeah. any work sense. Just you and your wife. With Correct. Her. What's her name? And Ellen. Ellen? Yeah. You just got married too, right? Yeah, two months ago yesterday. Yeah. It's been awesome so far. Have you gotten to talk to Joey much? I mean, that was good day, but like, what have your conversations with Joey? 
Yeah, I mean, he was trying to help me as much as possible get adjusted here. Uh, Joe was great, so. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.